control, let's go with another flow. Ain't your average entertainment show. More than entertainment than what's on the screen. Connecting dots on what you see. Have you ever wondered how it all began? The idea, how they started the plan. XX actors, the whole team. Mad props to those behind the scene. Why did the person get into the biz? Something inside when they were a kid. Who helped them out when they wanted to quit? What about the fam that gave them rocks to kick? How all the haters, they left shaming alone. Find out in the entertainment zone. With Paul Amadeus Lane. It's a real thing. Intro, let's go with another flow. Ain't your average entertainment show More than entertainment than what's on the screen Connecting dots on what you see Yo, what's going on? Paul Amadeus Lane This is the Entertainment Zone On ABC News Radio KMET And Hollywood News Source So happy to have you with me This is so special right now Why? Because one of my favorite shows Is beginning season 6 coming up in less than many hours. So what I wanted to do was to give you a sneak peek of what you can expect during this new season of the 100. I'm not going to tell you myself. I actually have some of the cast. I have executive producer who's going to join me and give us something that we can expect during this season had a chance to chat with them during WonderCon a little over under a month ago and I held back this coverage because I wanted to release it right up to the date of when the new season is because I'm telling you this is going to be bananas if you have watched this series the way they ended season five was they transported a hundred years in the future so if you haven't caught up In the seasons, don't watch this until you catch up with all the seasons because I don't want to add any spoilers or anything that make you not like me. But hey, let's get our show started by talking to my friend, executive producer, Jason Rothenberg. You know, this is a group of people who we've come to know and love with all their problems and all their history and all the stuff that they've done to each other that they need to... Uh, reconcile, grapple with, you know, process. And they'll get a chance to do that in this totally new world that has a, you know, whole new set of threats, a whole new set of potential allies or enemies, uh, all of which they're going to have to figure out pretty quickly. So, you know, we had five seasons to kind of unpack the the, the world of the grounders and, and that happened pretty slowly. This happens a little faster than that, you know. I don't think book two is as long as book one. <laughs> Now, the New World, is it just like Earth, similar to Earth? Are there elements in there that, that, the, uh, that the, the new survivors have to grapple with? Yes. No, no, it's not like Earth. Yes, there are elements that we have to grapple with. It's, you know, one of the challenges of making a show this season the way we did is we kept it in Vancouver, and we were shooting in some of the same woods that we've been shooting in for five years, but we needed it to feel like we're on a different planet. You know, one of the ways that we do that is with vis effects. You know, we've got two suns in the sky almost all the time. We've got uh, this big, we've seen it now in the trailer. I assume you saw the trailer. There's like a gas giant, like a Jupiter or Saturn like planet in the sky that we see all the time. When you see those things, you know you're not in Kansas anymore. So uh, that's one of the ways that we do that. And then, you know, we've changed the lighting, we've changed the way we shoot it a little bit. And, you know, these actors are, are pretending really well. So, uh, yeah, they're going to have a whole mess of trouble to deal with in this new place. Well, Jay, I appreciate being along for the ride from when it just started to now, season six, man. Let's keep going. Let, let's let's make this like like supernatural, be 19 no, seasons in, man. No, I don't know how those guys do that. No, I feel like we're definitely not at the end, but we're d- not at the beginning either. So if that's ambiguous, I'm sorry, but I feel like we've got a couple more in us. Well, that's go- not my call, ultimately. I don't know about you. But I would love to see the series continue on because the story is is limitless, really. You know, new planet now, new adventures. I mean, this is just wow. And if you read the book, do you know exactly what I'm talking about? Huge shout out to Jason Rothenberg, uh, executive producer, The 100. 
Appreciate always talking to him. I met him back when the series first started. And he and I have always had an opportunity to chat at all the cons. And I remember one con, I didn't get invited to the press room. And I was at the uh, the WB uh, VIP uh, party that they give all the media at Comic-Con. And he was like, hey, where were you at today? I said, well, you know, they said I was too gangster. <laughs> but I made every press room after that. So the uh, moral of the story is always be nice to the executive producers, uh, the showrunners, and the stars of the show, because you will be welcome back to the press room. All right. When we get back, we are going to chat with the star of the show, Eliza Taylor. We're going to find out if Clark is still um, getting a groove on, so to speak. So (laughs) we'll be right back with more show right after this. 